Hey, this is Stephen Dare reporting from MetroJacksonville.com. It is the end of the night. It looks like it's about 1 in the morning. And we're finishing off Stephen the Negro compliment, Players by the Sea out here at Jack's Beach. I just want you to have a look at who's still in this audience. This is kind of nutty. There's, um, is that Christina May? Oh, yeah, it is. And there's Mark Williams in the background, one of the musicians. <clears throat> Stu is actually still signing and selling CDs. And I have with us Barbara Colicello, the kind of, you know, amazing woman and responsible for so many good things here in Jacksonville. She's the director of Stu's play that's here at the beaches. It's called Passing Strange, and I'm just going to give it to you, Barbara. Say hello to Metro Jacksonville. Hi, how are you? Uh, it's been a really exciting night to have the award-winning Stu come and see our production of Passing Strange. And he's just been such a wonderful audience. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very challenging piece. It's, it's, it's got everything in it, great music, wonderful story. And we're hoping that people will come out Thursday, Friday, and next Saturday. Uh, that's our closing weekend. And we've just gotten wonderful reviews. And, and it was great to be in the audience tonight and have to tell us how much he enjoyed the production. And it's sort of like a family okay. of uh, people who do Passing Strange. Awesome. And um, kind of to let you know who is in the crowd tonight, we got Joshua Taylor. Man, what a crazy evening. I had no idea this was so so beautiful music. You're right, Stephen. It was electrifying. What a beautiful performance from Stu and the Negro Problem. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Everyone is here, and if you're not here, I don't know where you are. Josh Taylor, you're your favorite. <laughs> and Joe Schwartz, the man who made this happen, along with Barbara Jimmy, Colicello. And Jimmy Sal. And Jimmy Sal. Stu down. Very true. Well, guys, good to talk to you. Uh, join us online. Join us in the forums. Um, and I Here guess standing off at 1 o'clock in the morning, still at a theater in Jack's Beach, possibly the hippest thing that happened all late and all night long, despite the fact that Rockville was going on, this was absolutely the best place to be. Stephen Dare, MetroJacksonville.com. Thanks for joining us.